What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to be doing a quick little get ready with me. Just kind of showing you how I get ready fast in the morning in about 10 minutes or so. I don't really put on too much makeup so when I do this I just kind of am going for like a natural look and just using the essential products and then I will spruce up my hair a little nicely and then go on about the day. So this might take a little bit longer than 10 minutes to do because I'm going to be talking your ear off throughout the entire thing. It is 11.10 so let's just kind of see if I can do this in under 10 minutes. The first thing that I do is put on foundation and this is going to be on my Glow Minerals Luxe brush. It's a really great brush and then the foundation that I'm using is Natural Ivory with um, Maybelline 24 hour foundation. And I really like this one because it's super cheap and it lasts all day. Like this is probably the best drugstore foundation that I've ever, ever seen in my life. Um, when I'm not using that, I use the Tarte Base Tape, and this one pretty much compares to that. So I kind of put that on, and then really I put foundation like on my eyelids too. Um, I try not to really put a lot, just kind of what's left over on my brush because I don't want it to like make little creases or anything, since sometimes I just kind of stay away from putting on eyeshadow. And then kind of blend that into the hair. I'm so dumb, I totally forgot. Um, the primer that I use is uh, the NYX Shine Pillar, and this is a really good drugstore product too. Um, they have some that's like for redness, they have some to kill the shine, and then they have just like a couple of different ones. Um, I really like that, totally forgot to put it on just now, but that definitely helps your makeup stay on longer, so don't forget that stuff. So after foundation, then I use the Tarte um, Face shape tape concealer and I use the um, foundation that goes with this sometimes I just um, the one that I have is really really light and I just put a little bit of concealer there I don't really use like different color concealers or anything I just kind of do the same color put a little bit right here just to vaguely highlight cover up the pimples in the same color a little bit here because they get red from allergies. Some people go out and go all crazy. I like to do the bare minimum. <laughs> and then I actually just kind of rub that in with my finger. I find that it works better for me in saving the product than using a brush. And then with like what's left over on my fingers, I kind of go around my nose like this so it looks less. And then so you don't look as super ghosty, I'll take like a contour kit like this one and then one of these little brushes like this. I know I'm so good at knowing what words are. Um, and I really just kind of like pick up all the colors on it like that. Well, like the bottom colors, not the light colors. And then I do like a vague little line here, kind of a contour into bronzer blush. Dude. I don't know, I'm not a makeup girl. And then I just kind of do it like on the sides, right here and here. Because this is where a chart told me to do it for my face shape. And then since the brush is going to be kind of like not having that much makeup on it, sometimes I just kind of go here to give me a little bit darker. Depending on how time constrained I am, sometimes I'll just take um, an eyeshadow palette and get something super neutral, like literally the one that looks like my skin color, and I'll just put that on. Just to secure that I'm not going to get any of those like creases from where I put foundation over my eyes earlier. And then if you're lucky, sometimes your brush might have a little bit of leftover color on it from a different color and you get a little bit of smoky eyeshadow going on. Also, I'll put like a little bit of like a highlighter on and I put that like in the corner and that just makes it look like I actually tried. Cute. For my lashes, I will just give them a good little curl. The best mascara in the entire world is the Dior Addict It Lash. I use drugstore makeup a lot, but the one thing that I will not skimp out on is my mascara because I feel like that's the most important part of my makeup routine so put this on and honestly it's expensive but guys this lasts 
forever. I've had the same tube for three months. Three months, and look. That's, that's great. Like, there's still so much. So I will take the um, Maybelline Total Sensation, and I use soft brown, because it matches my roots. Brush the lashes up a tad. And I have like pretty dark eyelashes as it is, so it's pretty easy for me, but I just take the pen, uh, pencil and just kind of fill in like a little bit with strokes that go along the direction of the hairs. So basically just kind of filling them in a little bit more. And then the important thing is to just kind of brush through them again after you're done and then um, that kind of like blends it in. Voila. And then the final touch, ladies, don't go anywhere without a little bit of lipstick on. This is the most powerful weapon you can hold in your hands. And once again, I just stick with like a nude color with that. That's it. For the makeup, simple makeup, quick. And it's 11.21, so that took me just about 10 minutes with all the talking. So what I usually will do to kind of cut my time short in the morning, so I'm trying to get ready in a rush. Second day hair is your best friend. It honestly looks better than when you just curl your hair. But also if you do need to wash your hair, but you wanna be ready quick the next day, just curl your hair at night and sleep in it. And honestly, it looks super cute. So I'll just kind of give it a nice brush. And then obviously there's going to be some pieces that you sleep on a little bit weird and they look a little bit strange. Plug in your curling iron before you do your makeup and then it'll be ready for you. But I did not do that. This, I just want to talk to you for a second about this curling iron that I got. It is the Duval Pro Series Professional Titanium Curling Wand. And it's the Pro Series. It comes with a little instruction manual on the temperature that you need for your hair type, which is a really great thing in a curling iron because not everyone's hair types are the same. And the one thing that frustrates me so much, some of them are just one strict heat setting. And that is literally like one of the dumbest things ever. Like nobody wants to burn their hair off. So this is the Pro Series 25 millimeter curling wand. They have a couple of different options on here, but that is one that I got and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna make sure to link the info to this down in my description box. So click on that and it'll take you to the website and then I have the code for you guys for 70% off anything on the website. It is Erin Cav, E-R-I-N-C-A-V, 70% off. Oh, and it comes with a glove so you don't burn your hands off. I actually don't really use this though because um, when I curl my hair, I'm just gonna show you how it does, how I, how I do. So you just kind of take a piece and I'll put it up like here, about this far down, wrap it around. But I like to leave the bottom section out, which is why I don't really need the glove because that's what gives you kind of that looser um, curl. You have more of your curl right in here and it's more of like a beachy look than if you just did like curls all over. So I use this and I'll just kind of touch up any pieces that are a little bit falling out or I slept on weird or whatever. And a trick that I use to make the curls not look so uniform is I will curl most of the pieces in the same direction. And then every like three, four or five pieces, I'll go in the opposite direction. And then after that, just to kind of let everything set, I don't really use hairspray, but I do use the Orbe Texturizing Spray, which I've talked about 50 million thousand times. And I spray up like that and go like that. Just to make it a little bit more beachy. And that's it. So total that took me about 15 minutes with jibber jarring. So this is a quick like 10 minute, 15 minute, get rid of quickly in the mornings. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below before you go. And I will see you guys pretty soon for another video. In a few days, I'm going to post on Get Unready With Me. 
So basically, I'm just going to sit right here right now and take this all off. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.